we see that it should be cut the sooner the better, so schnell wie möglich. So we know it's going to be hard from, for Councillor Scholz, it's going to be hard for those countries, not only Germany, but the Baltics and Austria, which are highly dependent on Russian oil and gas. It's to be explained. Of course, there has to be compensation. There's always have to be justice for those who are to take the blow. But it's a political signal, it's a political move that is a must in a moment like this in which everybody around is asking, what are you doing to prevent it? What are you doing to sanction? What are you doing to make sure that Putin is not simply going to go away with it? The proposal made by the European Commission is not radical enough. I think we could do much more. On the other side with gas, we need to ensure that we are um, also dealing with the social consequences of this in many of the member states. So there I think we will need some more weeks to decide. But on the oil issue, I think we are ready to go the next steps. I fear that it's not enough, uh, that we're being too timid, and, and not just uh, Europe. Uh, we're still sending hundreds of millions of euro viewers to uh, Putin every day to finance his, his war. Um, and I think it would be better to impose all the sanctions possible now and, and cut this process short, because then he will run out of money really, really quickly, and he cannot continue to conduct this war. If not, I'm afraid that, yes, he will be, you know, it will hamper him, but it will not stop him. Just imagine we will not do sanctions that weaken ourselves more uh, than uh, the Kremlin, uh, who has uh, started this war and is committing war crimes. That means the question is when it will be uh, the right moment. Also technically, we are also deliberating with uh, engineers, with, uh, with technicians, with the academia in the like-minded field. Uh, it's not doable to cut gas from one day to the other.